Leader of the Third Party. Oh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. In my constituency, over 1,000 children are provided nutritious food by the generous staff and volunteers at Nourish Cowerton, which was founded in 2017 and led by my dear friend Fatima De Silva. Nourish Cowerton has rapidly expanded to meet the community's need for affordable, accessible food. Today, more than a dozen schools, three daycares, and the maternity clinic at Cowerton District Hospital are served by the donor-funded nonprofit, with several others on the wait list. Without a universal school food program in BC, Nourish Cowichan and organizations like it across the province are filling a critical gap in our social safety net. During the pandemic, food, boot, food bank usage went up by more than 20% and has only continued to grow amidst record-breaking inflation. To add to this, in BC, one out of every three food bank users is a child. Our province needs a universal school food program to ensure that children from all income backgrounds have access to nutritious meals that allow them to thrive within and beyond the classroom. Recently, I met with the Single Mothers Alliance of BC, which has been a strong advocate for this work. Their discussions with parents and caregivers throughout the province showed that, quote, overall, participants feel that a, a universal school food system would address a range of personal, financial, and social needs for families. They also express concerns about existing food programs that focus on children from low-income families and that can lead to feelings of shame that prevent those who are desperate in need of food from accessing it. For too long, hunger has remained a problem in our schools, and community groups like Nourish have stepped up to care for our children. Amongst G7 nations, Canada is the only country without a national school food program. But BC has the opportunity to lead the way. Honourable Speaker, I'm asking the House to join me in supporting a universal school food program in BC that benefits our farmers, our families, and the children of British Columbia. Thank you, Member.